Hey everybody, it's Matt from Origami, and welcome to my Origami Among Us crewmate tutorial. By popular demand on Reddit and Instagram, you guys wanted to learn how to fold this model, and today that's what I'm going to show you here. So thank you again for all the support on all the socials. It really does mean a lot to know that people are interested in making uh, my work, and I look forward to seeing all your guys' folds. So the first thing we're going to need is a double-sided piece of paper here. This is a 15 by 15 centimeter square. I have a white on one side and green on the other. The first thing we're going to do is that we're going to fold the square into ace. So the first thing we can do is fold the paper in half. First like this. And then again here. Second thing we're going to do is that we're going to take all of the edges here and fold it to the center where we made those creases. And if at any time I am going too fast, uh, feel free to slow down the video a little bit, put me on mute, and uh, just kind of watch what I'm doing here. But holding the grid, I will say, is the easiest part of the model. So once we get all of these creases made, We are going to go ahead and turn the model over. And now we're going to make this grid of fourths into eighths. So the way we'll do it here is that we'll take an edge like this and fold to the crease we made here. After that, we're going to go ahead and take that edge again and fold it to this crease here. So the end result from all this is we're going to have what's called an accordion grid. And as you can see from how it's folded is why we call it an accordion grid. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit and do it on the other three sides. Alright, so once you have your 8x8 accordion grid here, we're going to do a couple more folds before we get into the model here. So the creases on this side here and this side here, we folded them as valley folds. To make this easier on ourselves for our future folds, we're going to reverse them into mountain folds. So let's just go ahead and fold them on the line we made. You can also Turn the model over, and it's easier to make this crease reverse like this. So we're going to have mountain folds on either side here. The next thing we're going to do is that we're going to crease along this third line up. So, or I guess second line. Third, excuse me. <laughs> so this third line up here as a valley fold. Okay. So we're going to fold there. And then we're going to make a mountain fold on this crease here. So the pre-creasing of the grid should help with this. And once we reinforce it like that, we can just push that flush flat to the paper like this. Okay. Repeat on the top here. So valley fold along this third line up. and mountain fold this line here. Okay. So getting into the details here, we're gonna start with a backpack on the back. So what we're gonna do first is that we're gonna fold these corners here on this flap to the center here. And then we'll repeat this on this flap here. I'm actually going to zoom in just a bit for you guys. So you can see the details a little bit better. Okay. So from here, 
once we have these flaps folded downwards, the easiest way for me to explain this is that we're going to take just this flap here on the edge and we are going to pinch it and pull the paper down like this. And as you can see, those mountain folds we creased earlier help with folding this uh, flap down all the way. So let's go ahead and do this on the other side. And that's the easiest way I think that I can explain that is uh, simple without having to do uh, many reverse folds as, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> as that is what it's called. So that is the backpack there. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna get into the legs here. So as we did with the valley folds, mountain folds earlier, we're gonna start with that again. So from the backpack side here, we're going to make a valley fold along this crease here. So we're going to fold it back. Okay. So a valley fold here. And then we're going to make a mountain fold here on this following crease. So valley, mountain, and fold it downward like that. We're going to skip one because this right here is going to be the body of the crewmate. We're going to mountain fold this crease here. Okay. And then valley fold this one here. fold along that crease here. So this is what it will look like once you finish those folds. And this is what essentially it looks like when you make the valley mountain, mountain valley on this side, okay? We're gonna go ahead and make the legs now. So, Starting with this side, we're going to turn that, uh, I guess, facing forward. We are going to go ahead and take this corner and this corner and fold it to the center where this crease and this crease meets. So I'm going to fold that down. Repeat on this side. And so what we're going to do here is that we're going to unfold these flaps and we are going to make what's called an Elias stretch. So essentially here, these two folds, so one and two on this side are going to be mountain folds, while this one right here is also going to be a mountain fold. So the easiest way to do this is to spread the paper apart like this to reinforce the mountain fold here and here. And what you're going to do is just press the paper inside like this. So here, I'll show you from this angle here. So you're going to press the paper inside like this. And at the same time, we're going to have valley folds on these creases here. So watch. So hold paper like this, press the paper inward, and as you do that, you're going to close up the flaps on either side, just like that, okay? So the paper from the front essentially is going to be folded backwards like this. And we just close it on up. Well, I'm going to give you one more view here from the back so you can also see this as well. So from this view, those mountain folds I was talking about on the other side are valley folds here. 
So value fold, value fold, value fold here. When you have this, all you have to do is just bring this paper inward. And naturally, the model will just fold in on itself, okay? I think that might be the uh, probably the most complicated step as far as just explaining uh, to someone who is new to origami. Uh, if you do have any questions about that step, uh, please let me know because I know it's a little bit more advanced, again, if you don't have much experience. So please let me know if you guys need any help with that. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to make the helmet. So we're going to turn the model over. We're going to take a look at this square here. We're just going to fold this one. So again, we're going to fold this corner to this corner here. And with this particular one, we are also going to unfold it. Turn the model back over. And so what's going to happen here is that this crease that's hidden underneath the flap here of the body, this crease is going to become a valley fold. So what's going to happen is that when we take this flap here, and I'll zoom in once more, so when we take this flap here, we're going to fold it up to the middle. And as you can see, the creases we made with that triangle, okay, are going to follow it as well. This is what's known as a squash fold, because we're squashing <laughs> the fold here, kind of self-explanatory. Okay. So let's do that one more time. And I'm just going to repeat some steps and everything so that way uh, it's uh, a little easier for me to explain. So again, when you fold this flap on over, those creases will just follow very naturally and you'll squash fold there. The next thing we're going to do is that we're going to fold this triangle or this flap here to this corner. And this is going to be very similar to that of the backpack we made. And again, because of the mountain fold we made all the way at the beginning, it's going to be easier just to take this flap and fold it on downward, just like so. Okay. So same thing we did for the backpack. Turn the model over one more time again. And we're going to make a crease between this point and uh, this point here just by taking this corner and then folding it upward uh, to this corner here. I'll actually leave the camera zoomed in like this because I think we can see the uh, details a little bit better now because that's what we're going to mainly focus on now. So let's fold over this flap here to maintain the color change of the helmet. Just like that. Now let's get into the details here. You can kind of stop here if you like to have a, a more simple version of this model, but please feel free to continue watching to get the details here. So we're gonna work on the helmet first. We're just gonna fold this tip of the triangle inward. There's really no reference point, really it's to, 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 uh, to taste. I just fold it against the line here so that way it's more rounded and then we're going to take this corner here and also fold that inward so that way that part can be rounded as well we're going to go ahead and finish off the helmet here so turn the model over again we're just going to fold this edge to this line here So you can fold that inward like this. There's a few layers to it. So just making a crease there. And again, rounding off the helmet here. 
depending on what size paper you're using can make the details a little bit harder to make, especially with all the layers. But they are they're not too bad in my opinion. So that's the helmet. You can also do the feet here as well. So we're gonna fold it here. And here. Let's do this a couple more times. Again, make this crewmate to your own liking, to your own shaping. I think that that's what the unique thing is about origami is that there's so many possibilities and whatever you put into it is your own style of origami. And as you can see, this is uh, kind of mine. Last but not least, we're gonna work on the backpack here. Let's fold along this crease backwards. Fold this edge to here, essentially making a crease halfway. And then we're also going to make a crease in between the one we just made and this edge here. Easiest way is just to take a look at this side here and align it with that edge here. I'll try to find a good angle to show. Just like that. So now we have that crease there. And then we'll round off the backpack down here. I keep calling it a backpack, but I know it, that's not what it is. <laughs> and then what you can do as well, so I'll show you two different variations. So you can just go ahead and fold the corner here and voila, you're done. But if you want to make the backpack a little bit shorter, I'll show it to you guys here. So you're going to take this corner and fold it along this crease here. So again, these details are getting much, much smaller as we go. And once you have that crease here, you're just going to kind of free fold the paper. So you're going to take this and then fold it on downward. Again, this isn't necessary, just kind of a little detail that I like. So essentially what you're doing is that you're making oh, you're making a crease from that point where we made the triangle just straight across. And at the same time, you'll notice that we're doing another squash fold because we're going to squash the paper just like that. Squash folds are one of my favorites. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. And it does make the backpack a little bit shorter than where the helmet is. And then you can fold that corner on inward and you have your origami among us crewmates here. So again, if you guys do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, either on here, Reddit, or on Instagram. Thank you so much for making it this far in the video and sticking it out with me. Um, I'm definitely here to help you guys with the model whenever you guys need. So again, <laughs> Thank you, and thank you for all the support recently on all my socials. Uh, links are in the description below. I don't know how to do this YouTube thing. <laughs> I haven't done this uh, tutorial in so, so long, but if you uh, have stuck it out this far to uh, hear me awkwardly uh, ramble on <laughs> and stuff like that, uh, thank you again. So stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.